Kia ora, Year 12 and 13. Here's a question from the 2006 differentiation paper. A really old question, but a really, really nice one. So here it goes. We're given a situation, this time not about a cone, but about a balloon. And the balloon is conveniently spherical, and it's being filled up with air at a constant rate. Now that's really important to the question, because we're not told that constant rate directly. So it's a little bit different. What we're told is that the volume at a certain time is 360 centimetres cubed and after 20 seconds the volume's gone up to 450 centimetres cubed. Right we've got to do something with that but we'll come back to it. Find the rate of increase of the surface area when the balloon has got a volume of 1500 centimetres cubed. So this question I reckon is easier than all of the optimizations with similar triangles so that could just be me. Um, what we've got to do first is to say well what's dv by dt? Well dv by t dt is 90 cubic centimetres per 20 seconds and we know that it's a constant rate so once we've got that that's 9 over 2 or 4.5 centimetres cubed per second that's I reckon that's the hardest bit of the whole problem then what we've got to do is we know the formula for the volume of a sphere it's well or it's given on our formula sheet but hopefully by now you know it right surface area is 4 pi r squared so what are we looking for? Well, we want the rate of surface, rate of increase of surface area. So the goal is to get dSA by dt. Right, let's do some chain rule. I'm going to do it with three. You can do it a different way if you want. We're going to end up with dt. We're going to start with dSA or just ds. Right, let's look at this. What can I find a link between? Well, I've got a link between r and the surface area. Right, what have I got a link between here, R and V? And we know dV by dt. So it's going to go like this. Okay, so three things to find, but none of them are difficult. So um, dS, I'll just call it S, dS by dR is equal to 8 pi R. dV by dR, which is going to give us this one when we take the reciprocal, will give me 4 pi r squared, and this one we've got already. So ds by dt is equal to 8 pi r times 1 over 4 pi r squared. I suppose I should explicitly write out that dr by dv is 1 over 4 pi r squared. And the last one, dv by dt, is 9 over 2. So when I clean that up, um, the pies disappear. Uh, what else do I end up with? Um, I've got four twos here, four twos are eight and eight here, so we get nine r over r squared, which is nine over r. So that's a very straightforward expression. Um, all we have to do now is go back to the question and say, well, what r are we working with? We want to figure out the rate of increase when the volume is 1500 centimetres cubed. So we have to figure out what's the radius then that's meant to be a sphere. So that's a year 9 maths problem. We've got 1500, year 10, 1500 is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Solving that gives me r cubed is equal to this. Um, when I did that, so don't round that too hard, when I did that on my calculator before, I got 358.0986, taking the cube root gets me an R value of 7.10124, again don't round it too hard, but don't forget, don't stop there, I'm sure you'd get a merit for all of that, but it's so easy to finish it off now, and pop it back in, we get ds by dt is equal to 9 divided by that number, which is, now we can round 1.27 squared centimetres per second. Right, just make sure that you've understood that the unit here will match the denominator and the numerator of the rate of change that I'm looking for. All right, um, thanks for watching. Leave me any questions in the comments, and I'll be back with some more later on tonight.